Manuel Neuer, Kylian Mbappe and Lionel Messi are three players who can say that they've lifted that World Cup. And it got me thinking, what would happen if I built a team of World Cup winners only? Well, guess what? We're about to find out. I'm going to make a team of World Cup winners from the past 10 years to see if they are strong enough to not only win the World Cup, but win the Champions League. And I've just noticed that EA have got hoodies and shorts now in the customization for your manager. And I basically live in hoodies and shorts outside of making videos. So I think that's how I'm going to dress my manager every single time now. And as you can see, we've created our own team for this video. But on the flip side, we have had to replace Sheffield United. But to be fair, they are rock bottom of the Premier League, so I mean, it was their turn to leave anyway. Take a good look, boys, because by the end of this video, it'll be filled with World Cup winners. And we're going to start with the goalkeeper. Now, remember, we're only going for the past 10 years, so that's the 2022 World Cup, the 2018 World Cup, and the 2014 World Cup. Icons aren't yet available in FC24, but once they are, you better believe I'm going to try and make a video on that. But I had a couple of solid options like Hugo Lloris for France, the most recent World Cup winner, Martinez from Argentina. But there's only one player I want in goal, and that's Manuel Neuer, 87 rated, 37 years old, an absolute legend of the game. And we are going to start cheap and cheerful, as we've only had to spend one and a half million to bring Manuel Neuer into the team. And there he is, Manuel Neuer is officially in World Cup 11. Now, honestly, I'm not too sure what formation to go to, because I'm not actually too certain who I'm buying yet. I think once we brought a start in 11, and we can approach that problem and then go from there. But as you can see, we've got 10 more positions to fill window we're near done yet so next up we're bringing in a couple of center backs and believe me we are spoilt for choice we've got benjamin pavard from france kimpembe from france and lissandro martinez from argentina the list just goes on we are legit spoilt for choice but first up i went for rafael varan from france for 50 million then for 66 million on the dot i went for argentinian center back lissandro martinez and finally for 37.3 million i went for german center back matthias ginter and I think from the fact I bought three centre-backs, you can tell I'm going for a three at the back formation. Honestly, it's which one to go for. The 3-5-2 looks pretty decent. And to be fair, so does the 3-4-1-2, but I think I'm going to go with the 3-5-2 formation. I'm liking the looks of this team already. Four signings out of 11, we move on to the midfield. And in case you're wondering how I'm going to afford all of this, we've got over a billion left in the budget. So when it comes to the financial part, we are absolutely sound. Now with the 3-5-2 formation, we need two defensive midfielders. Now off the top of my I can only think of one really good one, so we may end up changing this formation again. And obviously, the DM is in Golo Kante, man. He's 32 years old, 86 rated. I remember a time in his career when he was literally the best midfielder in the world. But even at 32 years old, we still had to fork out 50.2 million to bring him to this team. And N'Golo Kante is officially in the team, but this is where we've run into a little bit of a problem. I can't find any defensive midfielders that have won the World Cup in the past 10 years. I can literally only find centre midfielders. So we're going to have to bring a centre midfielder into the team and bite the bullet and just change the formation again. And from the selection of players you just saw, I'm guessing you know who I'm going to bring in. Tony Cruz, who's 86 rated at 33 years old. He might be older than the rest, but he's by a mile the highest rated. And in real life, he's by a mile the best out of the bunch too. And he certainly is one of the cheaper players we'll probably bring into the team as we only had to spend 33.5 million on him. Okay, I was a little bit mistaken. All I had to do was change his position up a little bit further and he can just change to a centre midfielder so we don't need to change the formation at all. But next up we've got the central attacking midfield role and we have got so many options to choose from for this position. We've got legend himself Thomas Muller who's 84 rated. We've got the man who scored the winning goal for Germany in the final Mario Goetz who's 82 rated. We've also got Nabil Fakir who's 83 rated. But none of them come close to who I want to bring into this team. Lionel Messi who's 90 overall. Granted he's a centre forward but as you can see he can easily convert to that cam roll, so we're going to bring him into this squad. And for 43.3 million, we have officially signed the GOAT Lionel Messi to the team. And converting him to a cam turns him into a 92 rated overall player, man. This guy is just something else, ain't he? And we've now got four positions left to fill, so I reckon we start with the wingers. And I honestly struggled to find a really good right winger. Then I remembered Usman Dembele, who's 26 years old and 86 rated. At this point, boys, I cannot wait to see the state of this team once we fully built it. And Dembele is officially our most expensive signing yet, coming in at just over 99 million. But I've got a feeling after this next signing, that won't be the case anymore, as we're signing Kylian Mbappe for that left winger position. He's 91 rated, 24 years old, and honestly, he was kind of unlucky not to win the last World Cup. And this is absolutely the most expensive signing we'll make, as we've just spent 
5.75 million on him. And obviously in the game, Mbappe is a striker, but he can be converted to a left winger and it won't take that long. So that's why I brought him for that position. But we're down to the two strikers to fill up in the starting 11 and we are legitimately spoilt for choice with this one. We could have Lataro Martinez, who's 87 rated. We could have Olivier Giroud, who's 82 rated. And we could also have Antoine Griezmann, who's 88 rated. But honestly, I think I'm going to choose one of them and one person who I've left out of this list. I'm going to bring Kareem Benzema into this team. He's 90 overall. Granted, he's a centre forward, but we can quite easily convert him back to being a striker. But even at 35 years old, he is still a damn expensive player. We've just had to spend 65 million on him. And as for the second striker, I opted for Argentinian international Lautaro Martinez, who cost us a whopping 135 million. And that is officially our starting 11 complete. But there is one more thing we've got to do. We've got to fill this source bench with World Cup winners as well, because that's one thing I accidentally didn't do when I built the highest rated team you could possibly build in FC24. But better believe this time I aren't making that same mistake. And boys, after sorting out that source bench, I am genuinely gassed at the end result of this entire squad. We've got Antoine Griezmann on the subs bench, Miliano Martinez on the subs bench, Enzo Fernandez on the subs bench. But I couldn't decide between Thomas Muller and Mario Goetze, so I just ended up buying both of them. And overall, this team cost us 727.8 million. I mean, it's a couple hundred million less than the highest rated team in the world, but God above, it's close enough. But this time, before we do anything else, we are going to sort out the coaching staff and the tactics. I think our best option is wing play. We've got Usman Dembele and Mbappe on the wing, for God's sake. I think we play to our strengths there. But as you can see, boys, the coaching staff turned out to be a massive value. We are with them for one season only, I suppose, so it doesn't really matter too much. But I have put them into Group B of the Champions League alongside Sevilla, PSV and RC Lens. Yes, I have replaced them with Arsenal because, do you know what? Screw Arsenal. So now it's a case of if they can win the FA Cup, the Carabao Cup, the Prem, or even the Champions Champions League. But as we're simulating to the end of the season, if you wouldn't mind dropping this video a like and hitting that subscribe button, that would be absolutely amazing. So boys, we've just arrived at the end of the season, so it's time to see how this World Cup team has actually done this year. Wow, we finished 8th in the Premier League, man. We lost 16 games from 38. Maybe it shouldn't be called the World Cup 11, maybe the overrated 11. Man, I at least expected a top 4 finish, but to finish below the bottle jaws by 10 points is disgraceful. We didn't do any better in the FA Cup. We made it to round 4 before losing to bleeding Preston for God's sake and we only made it to round three of the Carabao Cup oh my god this video is turning into a massive owl our only hope now is we've actually done half decent in the Champions League but that is a good start I ain't gonna lie second in group B we should have finished first overall but at least we made it to the knockouts where we absolutely smashed Atletico Madrid 6-4 okay this is a pretty promising sign we just beat Dortmund 4-3 on aggregate in the quarters as well and we smashed Man City 5-1 on aggregate in the semis and we're playing United in the Champions League final. And stats wise Mbappe, Martinez and Karim Benzema really did the heavy lifting this year. Bloody hell, Messi only got 12 goal contributions this year. I mean for a 36 year old that isn't too bad is it to be fair. I have switched a few players around. Tony Cruz has been dropped for Enzo. We've got Fernandez coming in for Ginter. I mean it just made sense. The players dropped in overall and these guys improved. And this is the United team we're facing in the Champions League final. And they've got Harry Maguire in that team, boys. We are going to absolutely destroy that part of the defence. I'm excited to use this team, man. It's going to be a rare occasion where I use half of these players in my videos this year, so you'd better believe I'm taking this opportunity to use them now. I've just realised something. I haven't messed with any of the players' numbers, man. We're going to probably see Messi rocking the 49 number, but we've got Mbappe on the ball. Oh my god, he's torn everybody apart. Oh, what a save from Onana. Martinez is on the ball. He's looking for that run from Mbappe. He finds him. Mbappe we got them on the counter-attack here. It's Lionel Messi, the greatest of all time. He's getting... Oh, my days. Yes! Come on. A rebound goal. Messi takes the shot. Oh, Nana saves it. Then Bally puts it into an open net. Oh, no. Marcus Rashford's nope. on the ball. Oh, my God. What a save. Taremi's on the ball. This isn't good. We need to get our defenders. But oh, no. Oh, my God. We got so lucky there. Big Scott McTominay almost equaled the score line. Mbappe's on the ball. You see, oh, look at, oh, oh, come on. That's nope. got to be in. Oh, no, come on. How has that not gone in? There's no way we haven't just made that 2-0. Martinez is on the ball. That shot. Oh, my God, what a rocket from Martinez. 
Lataro Martinez with the absolute rocket. Just take a look at this. He picks it up, takes a couple of touches, smashes that. I mean, to be fair, Onana definitely should be saving that. But then again, that's probably how we'd probably try to save it in real life. So it's now half time. I feel like it'd be quite unfair not to use some of the plays we got. I'm going to put Goethe as a centre midfielder. Um, Griezmann, I'm going to shove you up top for Martinez. He's had a good go. D to be fair, though, I don't really want to replace anybody else. Mbappe's on the ball. Oh, look at that. Whoa, I see that run from Lionel Messi against Maguire. He's going to make it 3-0. That former PSG connection coming in clutch. It would feel kind of weird if we didn't get Lionel Messi a goal here, but what a freaking bit of play from Mbappe. And Messi's never missing from there. I'll be real, I'm not too fussed about United coming forward. They've been about as threatening as Chelsea going forward this year. And that's... Painful for me to say because I am a Chelsea fan. Bring Benzema. You see that run from Usman. Usman, we're going to go back post this time. Griezmann is there. And he's made it 4-0 with the scissor kick. World Cup 11-4. Man United 0. It is done. And that is the full-time whistle. We have battered Man United in the final. We made the World Cup winners, the Champions League winners as well. I really enjoyed that. Let me know if you'd be intrigued to see a Euros version of this. And if you are still here, thank you so much for watching this video. But if you enjoyed that, you should click somewhere right here to watch me build the highest rated team in FC24.